Hey everyone, so welcome to our conjunction video and this week we're gonna be doing the conjunction of Moon, Mercury, Mars and Rahu and what happens when Moon, Mercury, Mars and Rahu are conjunct in your horoscope? I, I, I don't know what that was on my table. I don't, I don't know why, what, what I was doing here, but anyway. So, um, <clears throat> yeah. And as always, we do not know if you have this conjunction, where it's placed, what sign it's in, what nakshatra it's in, all the other astrological details. For that, check out the links here. Check out my full astrological report, include my books, astrology, conjunction aspects, and Mahadashas at the speed of light. Include on my consultation here, and I have the new Dasha reading here as well. So, <clears throat> let's get started with our um, conjunction. So, <clears throat> moon, okay, as you know, represents the mind, comfort, happiness, mother. It's her past life hard drive. All the things that you have done in your past lives, what you feel, who you are as an entity is recorded in the moon. This is why moon is so important as a satellite because it sends out different, like trillions, literally trillions of wavelengths onto the planet to all the creatures to see oh this is your hard drive oh you're born now okay this is your hard drive moon represents your emotional connection to the world and how you perceive the world how you react to things is through the moon when you see something do you get really excited or do you get angry or do you just like stay calm and happy but or, or you just don't have any emotions at all like you know see lingerie in front of you and you're just like that's moon then you have mercury mercury's knowledge education and uncle's communication writing skills of hands <clears throat> friends then mars is male friends brothers and sisters because it's a second figure of siblings, athleticism, energy, fighting ability, soldier, athlete, you know, um, represents technology, engineering. Then you have a Rahu. Rahu is illusion. It's everything which is, it cannot be felt physically, like Wi-Fi connection. You know, um, it represents new age technology, magic, photography, it's smoke, clouds, eclipse. See, anything that comes in front of the sun and may block light of the sun somehow, some way is Rahu. So what, may, what is the major thing? Eclipse blocks the sun, Rahu. Clouds come in front of the sun, Rahu. Then you have Aircrafts, helicopters, and, and airplanes, they go in front of the sun. They can block a little bit of the sunlight for the people directly below that region. It happens. I've seen the shadow of helicopters going right by me because obviously we're in D.C. So, I mean, you've got military and, you know, uh, government officials coming and going. So, that's Rahu. Rahu represents like airplanes, aerospace, space itself. So what happens when these four planets are conjunct? Well, in this day and age, you will find many people who attained technical education. Education in fields related to information technology, new age technology, software technology, computer programming. People who go into, especially with the aspect of Saturn or Sun, may even go into physics and civil engineering. This is a person who's always somehow, especially Actually, I would say in any house, may be interested towards always wanting to be an athlete, wanting to be a fighter, wrestler, boxer. And I've also seen people who do very well in chemistry. So if you're thinking of becoming the Walter White, you must have these, uh, <laughs> this conjunction. So you can do very well in chemistry and dealing with chemicals and pharmaceuticals. Because anytime Moon and Rahu come together, makes a person a natural chemist. 
and especially with tech technical skills and knowledge which is mercury can make a person very technically gifted like they can create things from chemicals like walter white or no 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 i'm sorry not walter white say my name heisenberg you're goddamn right okay, anyway losing my mind in the morning one thing you will also see um you will tend to make friends with a lot of people from different cultures and religion even in india you will have muslim friends sikh friends and obviously if you migrated to a foreign country then your friends are going to be foreign This also shows a person who can really be a very manipulative thinker, <clears throat> especially in a certain signs in nakshatra, a person can be very manipulative, where they can, um, like they can really do some damage, like trying to take advantage of someone. Now, just because you have that doesn't mean you're going to do it. That's why, you know, this is just a basic foundational level. It is going to be there. Even if you have this right now in sign that does not represent any of what I'm talking about, you will have some little bit form of that ability to manipulate things, manipulate situations in your favor. But some people can really be out there, you know, being like mob bosses and drug dealers and doing all sorts of things. Because there's a fine line, you gotta understand, there's a fine line between a drug dealer and a pharmacist and a chemist. That's why I used that example of uh, Walter White and Heisenberg from Breaking Bad. I mean, it was like such a thin line he was on. He was a genius, you know, chemist and scientist. But life just like twisted him such a way where like, he's like, no, I'd rather go this way. There's quick return in this. Because remember, Rahu is a planet that uh, wants everything quick. He wants everything by manipulating situations. So, and Mars not only represents policemen, athletes, but can oppositely represent criminals. And Rahu, Mars conjunction, makes a person a criminal, especially in certain sign in nakshatra. Somebody who can, you know, easily kill someone. Somebody who can easily look at blood and they were not going to be afraid of it. Now, there's certain position where you will be absolutely disgusted by those things. And how are those position scenes? Well, from that, you're going to have to use this particular concept known as Karakamsha Lagna, Arudha Lagna. This conjunction from Arudha Lagna, like Mars and Rahu, can actually make a person a coward. They're, they're, they're not, they're, they want to run away. They're, 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 they're freaked out because Rahu is fear. So the mind is full of a lot of fears and illusion. Like, at certain position, these people may not want to like come here in the basement at the middle of the night and sleep. They, they, they'll think too many things. Now somebody else will just be like, what up? So again, it all comes down to how this conjunction is placed in your particular horoscope. But mainly though, uh, on, a, on a more mundane level, you know, because out of 10 people maybe one you will find who might be a criminal or you may not you know uh, so on a basic perspective this person is a very technically gifted person but <clears throat> they will use harsh language they will use curse words especially with Rahu involved in Mercury I don't care if you're a saint you are going to use curse words it's it's a natural it's natural I don't care which house it is in either because remember Second house is speech, third house is communication, right? Even fifth house is speech and communication. But not right now you have the planet of communication in this conjunction, Mercury. So regardless of where it's placed with Rahu and Mars, you are going to have aggressive language. Like for example, if this is occurring in your fifth house, you may use aggressive language with your uh, competitors in sports and your children. In 10th house, you may have very harsh language used with your coworkers. That's how you might, you want to like look at the dynamics of this conjunction. Okay. So guys, this is my analysis of Moon, Mercury, Mars, Rahu conjunction. If you're new to my channel, subscribe below. And if you don't know where your conjunction is placed, all my books, reports, consultations, for that, check out the link, sir. Otherwise, we'll see you later.